So not often do you hear people gasping at the Mobile World Congress when somebody makes an announcement, but I heard there were gasps this morning. There were gasps for a number of reasons, right. actually. The first is because we're accelerating the clock speed of Nokia. And when people see our fourth new Lumia smartphone device on the Windows Phone platform, they see our fifth, sixth, and seventh ASHA product. Mm -hmm. And yes, when we introduced the Nokia 808 with a 41 megapixel camera. Wait, say that again, 41? 41 <laughs> megapixel camera. But you know, the 41 is impressive. What's even more impressive is the technology that allows you to work with an image that size. Mm -hmm. So for example, this device, and just before we came on, I know we took your picture with yeah. it. And you know, what you're actually able to do is, if you is zoom in, we can zoom right in for example, and get a high resolution yeah. image of your left eye, as an example. Not just my eyes, not just my <laughs> face, but my left eye. Exactly. And it shows that consumers will be able to take great pictures, but work with those pictures and still upload them to Facebook or do whatever they like to yeah. do with those images. Let's talk about how that phone fits into that strategy. Obviously, Nokia, through a massive transformation, you're partway through this massive change. Yes. Is this the killer one? Is this the one that puts Nokia back in front? I think it is, it is em emblematic of the type of differentiation that we yeah. intend to introduce. We believe that one of the primary purposes of a smartphone is to help people capture and relive their lives. Take the picture, make the recording, uh, keep track of their lives, organize all of that information. Mm -hmm. And that's something we're focused on as one of our key differentiators across all of our products. So by introducing it here, we've said, wow, there's the new high bar for this type of experience. Yeah. And you should expect to see that on other devices and across other platforms with time. That's the Symbian OS. Are we going to see that on the microphone Nokia OS? Yeah, so we haven't said specifically what or when, but we have said this will live on other platforms. Okay. So that's a reasonable thing to expect. <laughs> but you won't tell me it's going to be on the Windows. I won't, won't say precisely. No. But this is the future of Nokia. This is the OS that's the future. Will Symbian disappear? So over time, we'll sell less and less Symbian, but we have said we'll support it through 2016. But for our smartphone line, Windows yeah. Phone and the Lumia line yeah. is, our, is our future. Where would you say you're on the road to recovery at Nokia? Where are you on the massive transformation? We're right in the heart of transition, right in the middle of it, where you're transitioning and restructuring and making yeah. all of these big changes. And yet at the same time, you stand up at Mobile World Congress and say, look at what we're delivering, look at the new products. You can see all of the activity behind us. You know, this is the strongest presence we've had at Mobile World Congress in years. The yeah. booth is jammed. Nokia is coming back strong with some great products, but we still have a lot of work to do, and we, we respect that.